Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited to show you today's RV. Today we are looking at a 2015 Dutch Star. Now this is a really, really special coach. But before I get it started, let me just get you my contact information. You can reach me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Now this is stock number 5U2111186. There is more information on this coach below. Today's video is of course live and on Facebook. You can also find us at any time at TTTRV on YouTube. And you can find all of my videos at RVs Inside Out. Now, as usual, Jody, I like to start from the back, so take her on back. Um, I love doing these RV videos from the inside out because I think you really get the best feel for the unit. Today's unit's really, really unique and special, though. So, we're going to go ahead and let Jody in here. Come on in, Jody. And then look at that magic trick. Here I come back through the door. Now, how did I do that? This is a mid-bath model. So this coach is so magnificent. This is a 43-foot coach. If you want the exact length of the coach, it's 43 feet, 9 inches long, and it's uh, 12 inches, I'm sorry, 12 feet and 10 inches tall. Uh, but what's nice about this RV is uh, back in 2015, uh, Numar had, of course, as usual, 13 floor plans available. And most of their floor plans were these longer 43 foot floor plans. But this coach is so unique in the amount of room that you have to walk around the bed. So this is just such a nice feature. And then look at the size of this nightstand. It's really quite magnificent. It's really, really generous. And for those of you who are using a CPAP machine, uh, we have some other uh, features I think that are really, really nice in that we have underneath here a really great space to store, store a machine underneath and then a 110, two 110 outlets underneath. And then take a look at the condition of this furniture. So this is all of the original chairs, the table leaf extension. Um, it, this coach is in just such fantastic condition. Um, this is the Cordova interior and then this is also the glazed caramel cherry uh, wood finish. And I love, love, love this headboard. Look at how decadent uh, this headboard is with the leather tufting and this really nice incredible woodworking and then you have these great storage compartments up above and what's so impressive this is a seven-year-old coach look at how these struts are still holding up look at how nice the, the ceiling is with the soft touch little led puck lights just so ahead of its time um, so when you know the difference you buy a new mar then there's a lot of reasons on this coach to buy this particular rv one of them is we have the optional safe here. There's also a ton of storage underneath here. There's also a really nice storage spot underneath your nightstand. I love these big beveled mirrors, just giving you that more luxurious amount of space and feel inside of the bedroom here. Uh, oh, I don't have the couch out right now. These are the extensions for the couch. I'll show that to you in a few minutes. Uh, and then here are all of your shoe cubbies, carpet lined, of course, your hanging rod all the way across, so a ton of hanging space. And then in this particular year, uh, 2015, you would have had a Maytag washer and dryer if you had opted for it. Uh, this client opted to go ahead and keep this extra space. But as you can see, everything is here. If you'd like to add a washer and dryer unit, you're welcome to do so. And then there's another little storage cubby right down here. And you can see they have all of these original things from this RV. So one of the things that I wanted to mention today uh, when you come to, you know, to Trans West Truck Trailer RV, we have a lot of things that make for a really fantastic purchasing experience. Uh, we've got Wade Phoenix and Tim Frank who do our complimentary uh, orientation walks. Uh, so our technologists will actually walk you through and make sure that you know how to fill your water, you know how to turn on your air conditioning. Um, this coach has three air conditioning units. We've got all three running right now off of our 10 kilowatt generator. Um, you'll make sure that you know how to get your DVD player rolling, um, that your remotes are working, all of those things. Um, but more importantly, you're going to find inventory like this. And this is largely due to our sales manager, James Paredes. James Paredes bought this coach from somebody who was done with their RVing. 
and didn't want it any longer, didn't want to replace it, um, you can go online, you can get our phone number, you can call us at the main number, ask for James, we will buy your used RV and then recondition it and sell it to that population that's out there looking for something like this. This is a fantastic way to get into a diesel pusher. Uh, this is by far the most economical and safest way because we've gone through and reconditioned this coach. We've made sure that everything is camp ready so that when you hit the road, you can go. Um, all three of our air conditioning units are cooking right now. It's so awesome because right now it's gonna be like 90 degrees. That being said, this has got a 32 gallon uh, propane tank on it and a 15,000 BTU uh, furnace. Uh, so that's a really nice feature because I guess Thursday night it's supposed to be dead at 24. So 90 today, 24 Thursday, typical Colorado fashion. This coach will get you through all the seasons. Uh, that being said, it'll also make sure that you have everything that you need when you go camping. There is so much storage in this coach. And one of the things I really liked about this unit is just this. When you want to sit down in your bedroom and put your shoes on, you have a chair. In this Dutch Star, you have a chair. You've got a nice long area where you can sit down, get your teddies on, get your socks on, get dressed in the morning without having to have something that you've got to stow later. Um, again, fantastic storage. You've got three of these drawers. And then these really nice details, like look at the beautiful inlaid lights that you have throughout the coach. What a soft, warm glow that you have. And then of course, look at these MCD shades. So these again, are, these are seven years old. Uh, so of course we have our exit window here. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and close that again because it is really toasty out here. Um, and then I think the next thing I'd like to do is show you uh, into the bathroom. But Jody, come on back here. I wanna show this full length mirror. So one of the things that's super nice about this is when you have a midship uh, bathroom, a lot of times you have to walk out of the bathroom in your robe and then go to your bedroom to get dressed. In this coach, you can go ahead and make sure that you're dressed to the nines and looking good. You've got your full length mirror there, but you don't have to go walking down the hallway in front of your friends. You've got your own entrance into this bathroom and this is so much room. Now later on, I am gonna show this to you with, it, with the coach closed in so that you can see what, how much room you also have in uh, this bathroom with the slides pulled in. But it's really, really fantastic that you have such a nice living space to share communally against or with everybody else. So uh, for those out there looking for a nice, you know, two bedroom, three bedroom condo with a single bathroom to share, you've got all of that here in this 43 foot Dutch star. Now, uh, Jody, come on in. Let's take a look at storage space in here. One of the things I think is really nice is look at the size of this medicine cabinet. Now, the width is one thing, but look at the depth. So more than enough room to keep your hair dryer and your curling iron, uh, your flat iron, all the stuff that you might want here. And you can keep it all in one place without having to stow it later. I love this really nice mirror that they provide to you. We don't have these anymore. That would be a fantastic addition to my superstar. And then look at the space here on this counter. I mean, this is just fantastic amount of room. And then of course you have all of your drawer space, plenty of room for linens down below. And then if you do have company, everybody can have their own drawer and their full extension. And so this has just been the way of Newmar for so long. And I think as a sales associate, I tend to take this for granted because, um, you know, I sell, I, sell, I sell Newmars. I'm used to this kind of build quality. I'm used to the fact that they have this beautiful uh, wood finish here. And you can see this beveled, you know, uh, trim. This is something that you find on an Essex. Um, you know, look at the detail up here. I mean, this is just so rich. Uh, so such a nice, you know, tile, you know, inlaid glass uh, backsplash. Huge, huge walk-in shower. Um, now, one of the things that's super nice about this is we've got the teak bench. Uh, so this holds up to 220 pounds. Um, you've got your uh, shower head is on a slide here. You've got your assist handle to get up and down. You've got a nice place to keep your, uh, your shampoo and your conditioner. But this is a really, really big shower. And as you can see with this skylight above, you've got plenty of height. Uh, we also have a fantastic fan with a rain sensor. And as I always tell everybody when you're trying on an RV, you definitely want to uh, check out well, first of all, all of the additional storage, once again, fantastic amount of room, but look at how much room you have here on the potty. This is like so big. This is like a really big, just kind of, you know, I'm in an apartment size bathroom. This is not any smaller than a large powder room in a big house. So we just love that feature. Um, I do want to have you come out, Jody, into the hallway 
and you can do a sneak peek down the hall, but we are gonna put the slides in here just to show you the different amount of space in this bathroom with the slides brought in. So your slide control, this is a quad slide, so your slide control for this unit, uh, there's two here in the back and then there's two in the front. And that's pretty standard for uh, Numar. Uh, we have the slide controls for the bedroom slides are typically in the bedroom themselves. Um, a lot of times we've got a full wall slide um, on one side, so we only have three. This coach has four total slides. It also has 150 gallon fuel capacity, a 32 gallon propane tank. It has gallons of fresh water, 65 gallons of gray water, 45 gallon black water tank. So really, really nice. And then most importantly, it has three air conditioning units on top of it. And it is a uh, 10 kilowatt uh, Onan quiet diesel generator. So a bigger generator than you get on a lot of RVs in this segment uh, these days. So super nice there. So we've got everything pulled in. Take a look at this. So this is with the bathroom access that you'll have while driving, right? Because this is a stationary part of the coach. So this is the size of your bathroom, even when you're going down the road and your slides are all the way in. So much room in this RV, so much room. So I just love that. Now let's talk about the layout of this coach. So in 2015, uh, mid galley was not a thing. All of them had this magnificent living area. So I love this and I'm sorry, I got, you saw I've got the couch parts in the back. This just slides out and gives you even more of an L shape. But I, you know, I wanted to show you at least, uh, there's two seat belts underneath this couch. And then also when you pull this and lift up, for you that watch my videos regularly, if I can get this couch to open on the first try, we'll be really amazed. Um, I have, I am couch challenged. There we go. Oh, look at that. Bam. This is your seatbelt holes. Um, but so this is your jackknife, right? So you've got your jackknife sofa here. And then wonderful storage compartments here. If you want to have plenty of room for Monopoly boards, you know, your cribbage games, um, all of your outdoor cooking essentials. So just lots and lots of room here for storage. I mean, and I don't know, these are super classy sconces. I mean, these wall lights are just so nice. Big window, right? Another emergency exit. Tons of storage space here. Uh, this TV does come out and pivot. I would definitely recommend putting that in before you close the slides though. And then lots of room if you wanted to bring, you know, some novels with you. Maybe you've got some books you want to read while you're on the road. Beer Steins comes to mind. So much storage. Um, and then central vac. And then all of your dirt devil uh, hose attachments can feed into this port here. But on top of that, even more with this midship uh, living area, look at all the additional storage. And of course, this is all carpet lined. And keep in mind, you guys, seven years old, look at the quality of these cabinets. Just so nice, solid wood fronts. And one thing I wanted to also mention is take a look at the paint. So full paint finish on the exterior, and they even paint the interior of the slides and give you slide locks. So this is something you know, for people who are out in the market right now, looking at RVs, these are features and things that you don't see on coaches in 2022, let alone 2015. So really, really impressive. Now, if you do make the mistake of letting people know how many beds are in here, you might end up with a lot of extra company. I don't think these folks ever told anybody how much uh, sleeping there was available on this coach because the tag is still on the couch, just saying. But if you wanted to bring the grandkids and your children camping with you, you've got this fantastic inflatable air mattress here. There's another two seat belts behind this couch. And I mean, I don't know that this has ever been used to be honest with you. It is just so clean and pristine. Just really, really fantastic, super comfortable. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful condition in this RV. Um, so let's go ahead and put this back together. And for those of you who uh, watch my videos, I do um, 
take great pride in being your eyes and your ears. So if you'd like to call me, we can FaceTime uh, and we can you know, go through this coach uh, individually. You can ask questions, I can show you things. Uh, but there's so much to cover. So there's an outlet here in the hallway. So for those of you that might have uh, some kind of device, like maybe you want to keep a bike charged and you want to have a place to store your Peloton, you could do that right here while driving down the road. Um, and I know that that's a big thing these days. You've also got 110 outlets right here on this side of the, of the, uh, the couch. Another two, one, or another two USB ports here, a 110 outlet, another two 110 outlets. So for those of you working from the road, lots and lots of charging capacity. And then again, tons of great storage. What a nice place to keep coffee cups or mugs. Um, just so much room. Now we are now entering into this dining room and as you saw before, that table I believe is still back there, but you've got this huge table uh, where you can really fit four people very comfortably. And this is much more like home. You know, we don't have booths at home. We have tables and chairs in case someone has to get up and get a glass of water or use a bathroom. Just really nice to have such a residential feel with so much additional storage available. And I know it sounds like a little thing, but if you want to keep your coffee creamer, your, your sugar, uh, your salt and pepper, you know, in a place where when you're bringing your table in and out, uh, you can just keep everything there while you're out camping and look at all this additional space. And I don't know if the client who uh, owned this initially uh, purchased or had this made for this RV. I don't know if it's a, sta a standard feature. But I love it. What a great place to keep, you know, your birding books, your, your hiking guides, things along those lines, so that while you're out there exploring this beautiful country, you can, uh, you can have all of your books right there, you know, hands grasp. Now, one thing to note about this kitchen is when I'm up here cooking and my kids are watching a movie, they're all sitting here watching TV, maybe watching the Avs win. We had a fantastic win last night. Um, but everyone can hang out here. Meanwhile, all the adults can you turn their chairs around here, right? So you've got your you've got your recliners that can turn in. You've got your chairs here. You can have all the adults up here, you know, making you know dinner, having a few cocktails, eating some chips and dip, guacamole, whatever it might be. Meanwhile, you have another nice segment here where people can be, you know, watching a movie, watching the game. Just really nice to have that separation. Um, I wish that we had floor plans like this uh, currently. We just really don't have anything that we offer like this and it's such a fantastic amount of space and such a nice living room. And then as you can see here, look at the size of this sink. This is so incredible. So super deep basin, stainless steel sink. Now this slide will come in and that slide will come in. This will stay stationary, but you'll still have access to one half of the sink going down the road, you'll just be relegated to this size. But of course, you've got that residential style faucet head with spray and pour. We have our kitchen window here on the left. What I really like about this kitchen window is that a lot of times these days, we have the kitchen window that goes down the whole back. It's really nice just to have the kitchen window here and then to have a tile backsplash behind your cooking area. But even if you didn't, it wouldn't matter too much because look at the coverage that you have there from bacon splatters or anything else. And I love this Princess by Whale stove. This three burner stove option is such a nice upgrade in this coach. And then of course we've got the convection microwave oven. And for those of you that are really into cooking, look at how much storage we have here. You know, talk about amount of room for spice racks and you know, if you wanna have your, you know, olive oil and all of your soy sauce. And then this coach did not opt for the optional uh, wash or dishwasher. So look at the size of these drawers. And you'll notice little things like this, like where the pots and pans might have rubbed. I mean, so I like to point out where during a, a video like this, because to be honest with you, by showing you that there are a few little nicks and dings and bumps, first of all, you get an idea as to what you're coming to visit. But second of all, you see things like this and you go, oh man, there's like a little scratch. Is that it after seven years? Is that how well this coach has been weathered? So this coach is just in fantastic condition. And this is pervasive. It's not just on the inside, it's also on the outside. This whole entire RV has just been so well taken care of. 
and loved and used. Uh, we'll see more of these in just a second when we get to that 22 cubic foot residential style refrigerator. But first, I want to make sure we get underneath and into my favorite drawer on all RVs. Oh, and I didn't show you the robe hook because there's a robe hook in the bathroom. That's my other favorite thing that Numar does. I always like a robe hook. Okay, so back to what we were talking about earlier. Maytag refrigerator with those little slide thingies so that your Coke can doesn't come out and land on your toe after you open the refrigerator door if you hit the mountains, you know. Um, this is cracked, just a little crack. It's just a cover. The tray slides out still just fine. Uh, but if you wanted to know, that's something. This is also dented, so a little dent there. But I mean, honestly, for a coach that's seven years old, you've got your ice dispenser, your water dispenser right here in the door. Uh, because the ice dispenser is up top, you have all of the storage space down below. This is just so impressive. This coach is just so clean. Um, really, really like everything about it. Look at more storage here. And again, look at these details throughout this coach. It's just so well made. Um, and like I said, it's so quiet. We have the uh, generator running right now. If you can't hear it, it's running in the front here of this cab. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring the slides in so we can see the walking space, Jody, and then we'll start focusing on the front. Okay, so. This is kind of a uh, give you vertigo if you weren't ready for it. So this is just such a great offering. Again, this is a pre-owned 2015 Numar Dutch Star, 450 uh, horsepower, 10,000 pound towing capacity. So much power for getting you up and over those mountains here in Colorado and across our beautiful country. So for those of you that are looking to tow, um, this is just a great coach. And then the other thing I really think that's important to mention about this RV is I have a lot of clients that have big dogs. If you've got a big puppy that wants to travel with you, uh, my friend Teresa, oh, by the way, we should give Teresa a plug. Uh, Teresa has the original, not the paper copy. She has the original brochure. So if you call me and you buy this RV from me, I will give you the original 2015 brochure. But no, so she also has a St. Bernard putty. If you have a putty, putty would have plenty of room to hang out here. And putty could even come up here, hang out in the midship. I mean, you have such great access to this bathroom. It's so easy to get back here. Um, to be honest with you, it's one of the places that Newmar struggles. We don't have a lot of walking room in our coaches uh, because we have such good slide control we can put heavier and larger furniture but in this 2015 you have so much amazing walking room in this coach and this is just a comfortable place to hang out if you're driving down the road this is so so cool so i love uh this is probably one of my favorite floor plans i'm going to go ahead and close this up we can see how much counter space we have up here so much counter space uh, let's see, I know we covered a uh, 32 gallon propane tank. Um, oh, this is going to be the Cordova interior, right? So this is the Cordova. But when we get outside, we're gonna look at the Bon Bon exterior, which makes me super happy. Okay, so take a look at this dash. Okay, this is, I just turned that generator off. I, gen start right here, by the way, 10 kilowatt once again. But look at this dash, how cool is this? Now, first of all, one of the things I wanted to mention is you have adjustable pedals. So you can put your pedals in and out um, so that if you are vertically challenged like I am, you can put them closer to you. You see that moving? And then if you want to move, if you're tall, you can put them further away. So I love that. Um, generator control right here. Uh, your visor control, I've got them kind of showing to you. These are power, you know, power shades in the front. Um, you've got your Voyager camera system, so you've got your backup camera, but you also still have comfort drive. Comfort drive is so important for those of you who are out in the diesel market that have never had a diesel pusher before. One of the things that you'll run into is that when you are driving down the road, you are in a very large unaerodynamic brick. Um, and it can be really windy, especially like down I-80, um, you know, going across Wyoming, you know, you just catch these winds and you start fighting your RV and your arm is tired and, 
eight hours feels like 80 hours. And what happens with, with comfort drive is you can turn this up to five, up to six even, and have it so that this coach is keeping straight for you. So it's taking the fight out of the drive for you. And that's just such a nice feature. Um, the other thing I think is nice is you've got, you know, your touch controls here for your windshield wipers, for your lights. Um, everything is really interesting for me because it's a lot more manual. And I, but I mean, I love these gauges. I mean, how cool is that? There still is, I can turn this on for us. Uh, you got your uh, Freightliner has got you a digital uh, instrument cluster, cluster here that will show you about your jacks and, and your, you know, your mileage and all of those things. So it's not the same glass dash that we have here or have currently, but how cool is that? I mean, it has everything. Okay, if I don't start it, okay, the check engine light's not on on this coach, just so you know, this thing has been serviced. Uh, it just shows when I have just the auxiliary on. Uh, so you have also uh, power mirrors, heated mirrors. And then I love the fact that you also have uh, your engine brake has high and low as well. Still have that Allison transmission. And of course, we've been in uh, partnership with HWH for 30 years. So you still have your hydraulic leveling control here as well. And you'll see that this light here is glowing in the front. That's because this coach is, is, is angling forward. So these little lights will show you if you're angling towards the back or towards the front. And then all you have to do is push this button to auto level your coach or push this button to store for your coach. Um, so super, super nice there. Um, and as you see, this says tag dump, right? So this is going to be a tag axle. What that means for you is that you're going to have really good control over uh, your parking. Uh, this is a great thing. I mean, this is, you know, great place to keep your cell phone. Uh, also, you have um, the optional TV was not included here. So you have extra storage. I love all of that extra storage. And then here's your motherboard for all of your sound system. Um, you know, and this is, this does have serious satellite radio. It has anti-lock braking system. Um, you have the Oasis. So we still have our Oasis system where you have your burner, AC heat one and two. So that same, uh, th that same Oasis system that we offer in a 2022, all of your slide controls here. We still have our magnum inverter. All of our uh, energy system is here. And then all of our displays are really, really currently very similar to this. And I don't know if they turn, if they, they labeled these um, block heaters and such. If they, I don't know if they put these labels on there so those came from Newmar. Um, but just this coach is just really in fantastic condition. Um, okay, so a little bit of a difference here. We don't have the power uh, step cover. Right, so that's something that's a little bit different, but we still have our full recliners. Also, we have this thing that people didn't know they were gonna need in 2019, our mobile desk for all of those that, that left the office and went on the road. Of course, Numar, as usual, is ahead of the game. Um, our climate control systems right up there that operates all three of your air conditioning units. You do have three 15,000 BTU air conditioners on this coach. And then also one of the nicer features that is offered on this particular vehicle, uh, it was optional, a power water hose. So it has a power retract. Power hose reel was optional at that point in time. That 50, 50 amp uh, power hose is, uh, or power cord is also power retract. And then you also have the optional lock and unlock for your under cabinets, so or for your baggage doors. And then we have the two Girard awnings as well. So it's super nice there. Another thing, I'm sure you heard it, um, the doorbell is so much better in 2015 than it is now. Uh, also another optional feature, um, the chrome convex mirrors. So that was a feature back in the day. And you'll notice there's a few little marks here on our clear bra, but we see so many coaches that come in where this diamond shield is just eaten up and covered with bugs. Um, this is a really, really clean, super nice uh, quality uh, coach. There's a little dink right here, um, but overall, you know, this, this front, front end cap is in such good condition. Of course, you've got your side view uh, cameras here. Uh, again, 150 gallon fuel tank, dual fill. Um, but this coach, it's just unbelievable um, how clean this RV is. It's so nice. All the cabinet, all, all the basement doors work so well. There's your full pass through all the way through to the other side. 
so much storage on this RV. Uh, again, this is the Bon Bon exterior, which I just love. Uh, this is, of course, a thousand pound weighted uh, slide tray. What I like about these manual slide trays is that they're so light and easy to bring out. But I mean, did they even use this coach? <laughs> just amazing. Um, you know, what, what a clean RV. Uh, again, for those of you looking to get into a diesel pusher, a lot of times the price point is out of reach um, on something that's got this nice ISL, you know, 450 horsepower engine, but not today. Not today. This is a really affordable way to get into a really fantastic RV that will get you down the road to so many different places. A little tool bay there. Uh, no TV out here, so for those of you that want to watch TV while you're camping, Tough Beans, not doing it. Nope, we're not doing it. <laughs> Here's your def tank. Like I said, this, this coach is just fantastic. So, so happy that we can offer something like this. And you know, kudos to James Paredes. He spends a lot of time um, on the phone, uh, you know, making bids, acquiring inventory for us in days where it's so hard to find a good you know quality pre-owned rv uh, for sale he does such a good job at you know helping us to acquire inventory um, you can see here 10,000 pound towing capacity again you've got your seven pin connector right here uh, so all ready to rock and roll and still you know as you can see you've got your freightliner in black and then of course Cummins is all going to be painted red. So there's your 8.9 liter, 450 horsepower engine. Nice, tucked away here in the back. Quiet going down the road. Cool in the summer, uh, warm in the winter. Your radiator here on the side. This is the other uh, little compartment to keep a hose in there. So if you wanted to keep a sewage hose, you can keep that right there. Um, and then as you can see here, Michelin tires. One thing to know about uh, about Trans West is we will not deliver any RV to you with a uh, tire that has a date code that's more than five years old. Um, so we want to make sure that when we get you out there camping, you're also safe. If this water bay looks familiar, it's because it worked really well, and they're still doing they're still doing it in a very similar capacity. Whole house water filter, outdoor shower with hot and cold fill. Um, like I said, this one had the optional power uh, water hose, which is nice. And then again, that power 50 amp uh, cord was a optional feature in this model year. They did opt for that. They also opted for heated seats, uh, the central vac. So just really nice. There's your Oasis system again. Another slide here. You can see how easy that just locks into place. More storage. Uh, under here on the right hand side, you'll notice that there are some extra tiles. And I didn't uh, really hone in on that, but in that floor, there's no uh, cracked tiles. There's no popping. Everything is in its original place. Uh, you have six batteries here. This does have the two additional batteries that come with that 22 cubic foot Maytag um, refrigerator and then there's that 32 gallon propane tank so tankless hot water heater um, 50,000 BTU furnace dual fill 150 gallons of fuel beautiful beautiful execution uh, on Newmar's part I mean I gotta tell you guys if you open this compartment today on a 2022 it would look the same just really really nice uh, fantastic opportunity. I think the doors on this one actually closed easier. That's because someone has had seven years to break them in. Again, you're looking at stock number 5U211-186. Um, I don't do a lot of pre-owned videos. I do a lot of Super C videos, a lot of big, you know, 45-foot coaches. But I had to bring this one to you today because this is an opportunity. 
If you're interested, please reach out. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. It is an honor to bring you this information uh, every week. Please tune in again and come let us get you on the road.